All right, so good morning. Latoya here. Welcome to my crafty space. It's Wednesday. So I put the finishing touches on my card. I went ahead and I stamped out that I love you and heat embossed it onto this card and just adhered it as like a little tab. So I absolutely love this. Um, and then I went and added a little more liquid pearls to give me five. I placed one here, but you can't really see it. So you have the three here and then the two here are subtle um, just in case. So such a cute card. Oh my goodness. I had so much fun with um, the stamp set. Well, the two stamp sets. And I'll just recap and show you really quickly. Where did I place that other stamp set? So, yeah, these two sets. And then I used my um, old crafty stash because I am all about using what I have. Um, my Sizzix Thinlets to get the border here. Oh, not this one, a different one. Uh, I'm grabbing everything that's not what I need. Here we go. So I used these um, to make the cute borders and then this tag guy is off somewhere in the distance. And I think I purchased that off Etsy also. Um, and I'm gonna go over dies one day because I have a ton. Um, let's see, it's not, oh, here it is. So these are my makeshift magnetic sheets. And um, I was not wise at the time when I first started and I did not like write where things are from. Some things I just know like off the top of my head where they're from and some things I just don't because I just purchased them. But I, again, like I said, I'm going to be keeping tabs in the future. So if you guys ask, I can tell you, but yeah, like I know this is from, I bought that from a Hobby Lobby. So yeah. And then like, this is MTF and all that fun stuff. So we'll go over tags and stuff because I actually need to get more organized with that, especially for um, what's coming up. So I'm going to stamp these out here and get going because I don't have time for anything else, unfortunately. Uh, I ended up sleeping in this morning, you guys, and I absolutely needed it. Okay, so this is the uh, Hydrangea Haven set, which is super cute. I decided to use a couple of these sentiments to just stamp plainly onto um, my tags. So let's put down a piece of tape. That's what I do if there's like a really small image or something. This is going to say, I love you. And I'm just gonna stamp it in black. I don't even know if anyone's going to watch this video because this video is kind of like, it's not fluff, but it's kind of fluff. Oh no, my tape's not sticky anymore. You know, things are sad when your stamp is stronger than your tape. I've used that piece so much. You know what? This might work. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's time for a new piece of tape. I just think it's so cute. Come on, get off my finger. All right. Let's give this a little stamp. Oh, so adorable. And so simple. All I can do is simple before I go to work. <laughs> With like a couple minutes. It's always like, oh, I have 15 minutes. I can do something. Yeah, it takes 10 minutes to come up with a thought to find what, what takes 10 minutes to find what you're going to use and to come up with a thought and all of that. Okay, so now, so this is one. The next one I'm going to use, this is still sticky, so I'm going to throw this down. And uh, let's see, the for you might fit. This is what's so nice about um, sentiments. I love things that are just interchangeable. Oh, how cute the For You fits. Fantastic. I'm gonna put it in the middle a little bit. And the For You, the cursive for the U is like just right, so. <clears throat> And 
And I know this might seem small and silly to some people, but you know, little touches make a big difference. Okay, I'll put this back so I'm not guessing where things go later. I'm usually good about it. Um, my desk isn't just full of like stuff just all over the place, like stamps anyways. The worst thing that can happen to me is losing a stamp. All right, so let's see how this looks so far. So we have the love you. We have the for you, which is super cute. Part of me wants to put a piece of string in that, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, you guys, how cute. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry. My heart is just so happy right now. Okay. And then here I need to figure out what I'm going to do. And you know what? I kind of want to do like a heart um, right there. Let me see if I have something. There's nothing in here I can use. Or do I want it to just be like vintage-y? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'm just going to leave it kind of vintagey. I would have put a heart there, but I think I'm going to like this look. So fingers crossed. It's all about experimenting, so why not? And it's not really a postcard, but I just kind of want that vintage look. I did want a heart, but this is a little bit of an untraditional, you know, card. Oh, I like that. Okay. And one stamp is good. I don't need to double stamp it to make it more fun. Okay. like something you'd buy like in a junk journal kit you know and then throw that in so what I did was I added a piece of um you know what I want to put this back here so I added some um jeepers what are those things foam strips what I want to do in the future is I'm just going to build in like a little bit of a bit of a like um border and just stick it in on the sides so that it just contains um these pieces here. So these tuck in like so. And then they're stuck in this one area. So whoever I give the card to, you know, I'll just let them know like, hey, it has to be in here. But look at that. Now I know this card might not be for everyone. Um, and that's okay. I am just super excited about it because it's like what I had in my head is actually now out on paper and I'm quite pleased. And you can open up the card. Oh, didn't put anything on the inside. Let me do that, and then it'll be time for me to go, like my little trademark. And I didn't show you guys what I used for this. Um, in case you were wondering, in case you didn't watch the last video, so I used these, and I hope these stamp sets are right. They might not be because I can't. Um, they're both the same brand, but like when it, their numbers are the same on the back, but they're from the same company. So I got these here. I used those for these super adorable tags. And I used Stampin' Up's Stacked Stone. And then for the rose, I used Healing Hugs because I absolutely loved this rose here. And that was really why I bought this stamp set, but there are so many great sentiments in this. Um, it was just fantastic. Oh, look at that, I actually need to leave. So am I gonna add anything else? Um, I don't think it needs anything else. There's enough going on. I said I was gonna stamp the inside, okay. I'm just going to use tree cobbler and it can be a little faded. So I'm just going to grab this here. Put this down gently. 
don't need red all over the place before I head off to work. Just a little ink up. I don't think I need to refill my ink pad. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's so pretty just with ink on it. Right, and I'm just going to do just the corner here. I like it. I like how it's a little faded. If you want, you can stamp out one of these and throw it on the corner, but this is just what I'm doing. And once it dries, it should darken a little bit, but if I change my mind, I can go in and, you know, just stamp one of these twice um, and then cut it out. All right. So, oh, geez, I got stuff all over my fingers. Bump, bump, bump. I did turn that a little weird, so those popped out. Ink. I'm really trying to make sure I don't have red on my fingers before I uh, tuck those back in. Okay. And if you want, to make sure things are a little sticky just put a little tape on like just a little bit and that can also help keep them in place when you tuck them in oh see this came out i gotta get better at that so we have the I love you, the little cute postage, and then the for you, because that's like just my trademark to say for you. And just gonna stick this in, and I put a little tape on it. Stick that in, and stick this in. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I hope you guys liked my cards. Again, sorry if this video is kind of drawable to someone, but I needed to finish the sentiments on these cards and also do the insides. And I did not have time last night because I was, again, busy, regular things call like exercise and um, <laughs> doing dishes. So I will talk to you guys later and I hope you do something crafty that makes you happy. Okay, bye.